Okay, rock on, Motley Crew. What we got here is uh, got everything out of the way. Actually, none of this need to be disconnected or down there, but there was a giant mess. And I had to get somewhere to uh, where I could mount this damn thing, you know, like under here or something. I need to make some room. So anyway, I'll get that going. I gotta take out this one more line because this is actually where the line lock goes is breaking this one right here. Even after a bunch of deliberation, I ended up just putting these two, this one back pretty much in the same spot, but cutting out a bit of line on both of them because I think it'll be fine. I would prefer a loop, but I'm gonna do a little something different because I gotta put a rear end in this at some point. So I'll be changing master cylinders, proportioning valve. This is actually proportioning valve I think I went over. That's just a distribution block, but with the brake switch in the middle of it, so we'll actually, I think, be plugging off one of those ports and putting in the uh, roll control here. And I think it's gonna fit under here somewhere. I'm not sure we got one more line to run. So if I can give myself enough room, I'd like to mount this somewhere down here. Maybe even at an angle like that would be uh, really good for me. Okay, we we'll get under here where we can get to things. I think we're gonna block off the bottom and then plug the line lock into the top and put a distribution block in on the end of this and then hook this into it. We're really shooting for this little program right here. Yeah, so we got the red lines and the green lines done. Now we're gonna do the black lines. And uh, yeah, put the T, plug the bottom. I hope it works out, just like the picture. Oh man, now all we got is this little guy here. We gotta get that. We got the other stuff undone. We got the bottom plugged, and I threw in the distribution block over there in the corner but well, we got that and we're probably gonna violate copyrights with the ACDC in the background I uh, just a minute ago it was suicide silence and then and uh, I was like whoa, talking to my dad and then all of a sudden I heard the metal I was like whoa, shh, you know fast but yeah it was like this you know I was like you can hear it double bass oh man one of the greatest guitar solos ever <laughs> but I had the genius moment. We're gonna build this out of a tube and uh, it's gonna sit at an angle and then the thing's gonna mount down here where my hand is and it should be great. Let's do it. I mean, are we gonna have any luck at all? Let me see here. Got this piece under here. I'm envisioning it, envisioning it going like this. So we got our relief cut in the back. Looks like I need to chop a little off the top and make a hole for the bolt to go through. And then I'm gonna set, sandwich it in between these two. I think it'll drop it down just enough to clear the bottom of the brake boosters. Poking down a little bit right there, so. That'll let it hang down, I think, of just enough. Okay. Remember, if you do more grinding than welding, you're a grinder. Figure that one out. We're just gonna factory stud configuration. Actually, we got Tom's car back in here for a little bit of, we got a rack on the top of it that you can open up.
All right, let's see how close we got this. I think it turned out all right. It's just a quick and dirty deal. So anyway, we got got this guy here, and then what I could see is like, this could use a little better bend to get up into there, but that's no problem. Uh, I got plenty of that left. I bought the Summit line lock installation kit, and it came full with a handful of these little pieces here. And uh, I got, I got two more links, plenty enough to do that. That should work. And then I can, I was kind of wondering how to make it go to here. I also got a little bit of nickel copper tubing because that's what the local store had. So yeah, I should be able to route this in a way that'll, I mean, this one looks like a damn question mark. Uh, that was not the intention, but hey, what? We're just going with it. It's out of the way. That's all I know. It's totally out of the way. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. Then we gotta hook up this one here, out of here, and then this one here, it goes into the distribution T, and then we gotta make another line to go back under here. And uh, then we'll have built our picture, wherever I put it, I, I'll find it. Okay, the Bluebeard Chronicles. What we're doing here, we're gonna bleed some brick. So we borrowed this thing from Mike and uh, got the car all jacked up so we can crawl around underneath it and get this system bled. And that thing is really cool. I've done two cars this weekend already. So, and it works very well. So we're gonna do that. And then, uh, you know, cause if you're gonna go hundred miles an hour, you gotta make sure you can stop the damn thing too. So just getting it up in the air will be good. Okay, now we're gonna hook up the Mighty Vac or the uh, Blue Point Vac 300, right? Gotta hook it up to air. Let's see if I turn the air compressor lines on. Okay, great. Now it's creating a vacuum in the tube. I have this uh, shut off on here. I jammed uh, one of the plastic tubes into this tube, so that's working good. And then you just put this rubber cap over the top. It's probably gonna need a headlamp. And I got the three inch wrench. You gotta get the right size wrench on there. That's the most important, really. You don't wanna strip those little guys out with, you know, gonna bike strip land. Uh, I already checked the fluid. I'm gonna crack this open. And uh, put this guy right on the end. I like to put a little trap in it, like a heat trap with a loop. Whoop. And that way you can see the fluid being evacuated. And then I'm just going to keep an eye on the fluid level in the, uh, in the map. And now we can look. So you can see that level just going down real slow. We're just going to keep it topped off going down it was like an eighth or a quarter when we started now it's all about half the inch five eighths we're getting some good flow out of here so if we look at this like i said if you just have a little loop you can actually see it collect a little bit and it'll it'll be apparent once you get clean fluid to dirty fluid i mean this fluid looks really a lot better already so it doesn't take long it's just a it's just a great piece of insurance to have plus who knows how long or how old that fluid is. And, uh, you know, we're building something for a hot rod. We don't want it not to stop. Can I stress that enough? Like, got to nut and bolt your car. We saw two cars on the racetrack last uh, night and during the day, I guess, that, you know, didn't spend the time to just check over their rig. So uh, get out there and check your shit box out once in a while because don't give shit boxes a bad name. <laughs> don't make it worse. Okay, I'm gonna show you another way to use this thing. I gotta set that thing down for a minute. I'm gonna shut off the brake line under the car. And here's what else we can do. Okay, we can come over here. I'll have to cut some of this out maybe, huh? So you can see the master cylinder, we got it almost all the way down. You can see in there, you can see all that dark fluid in the back one there. Oh, it looked like a bug landed in it. 
Well, we can take this guy and we can suck all the bad. Okay, it's like you suck it out like a little dentist tool. So, you can see we got all these clear and then turn it on there. And you can suck all the dirt and crap out of the corners. And yeah, just like the dentist does out of the corner of your mouth and whatnot. And now, we have even more, re a cleaner reservoir of fluid to do our bleeding. And maybe I should have done that to start, so you decide when you want to do it. But it's probably a good idea to clean these out of all that fluid, and you can suck up a little of the dirt. So that's not a bad thing at all. Okay, so when you're done bleeding, make sure you top your reservoir off and check for leaks. Uh, I was actually pressing on the pedal after I got all done, and I had two little leaks in that distribution block down there and uh, had to tighten it up and I just ran through and bled them again for the hell of it, you know? So 